Hi, I'm Andy Stevens, and this is the Home Building and Renovating Guide to Buying a Combi Drill. To me, a combi drill is the most flexible tool on a job. The three main things you would use this for uh, on, on any sort of work is drilling holes. You've got a drill bit here. This is a standard 6mm bit for drilling into walls. You can also use it as a screwdriver. Different size bits from all the way through, posi, hex, uh, flathead, etc. And you can drill bigger holes into wood, plastics with core bits. It is really, really flexible. It's a great bit of kit and you can use it for a hell of a lot of things on most jobs. The main thing I wouldn't use this for is anything where you need probably a lot more power and despite seeing this, which is a core bit for drilling out your pipes and your plumbing, yes, it'll fit, but it will burn that out in no time. To be fair, most things you can use this for, as if you're a keen DIY or a self-builder, you can use this for most things. Do not try and overdo it with other big pieces of equipment and materials such as that. The other thing I would recommend, if you are going to be screwing in a lot of screws, so more than just a day or two, use something called an impact driver. It is built purely for doing that job. This will suffice for the odd day here and there, but believe me, if you're putting in hundreds and thousands of screws, I would use an impact driver all day. So if you're going to be looking at this as a sort of part-time drill, you don't need to spend much money on it. Self-builders, DIYers that use it here and there, don't spend the money because if you go with lower budget options and brands such as McAllister, Ryobi, Einhell, these are the sort of own brands from the bigger stores. They work fine. Mid-range, which is what this is, uh, DeWalt, Makita, Bosch, Metabo, Milwaukee, they are, to be honest, they suit me down to the ground and I use this all day, every day. If you want the really expensive stuff, it's Festool, Maffel, which is just another level, but they are really, really used by professionals, joiners, for example, that use them all day, every day. Big thing to look out for is the battery. Um, you want to get at least two with a charger when buying a bare body. You can get a bare body, but you can't use it without these. So make sure you get at least two batteries and a charger. You can be using one whilst charging one. And this is the big thing to look out for, is the ampage. The higher the ampage, the longer it's going to last. So if you get one with a two amp, you're not going to get a lot of joy out of it. Try and go for at least four or five amps when you're looking at a combi drill. So other things to look out for when buying a combi drill, there's quite a lot actually, they've come on so much in recent years. Uh, this has got gears on it, this is a three speed, um, which does make a difference depending on what you're using it for. Brushless against brush, brushes sit in the drill and when they go you've got to replace them, so the modern combi drills are brushless, so you're not going to have that problem. And if you can spend the extra sort of 40, 50 pounds, I'd recommend brushless. And then the other thing is some of these, where well, as soon as you touch the trigger, you get a light. Now, if you've got failing light on a job or you can't really see what you're doing, you're in a dark corner, that is perfect. So the other things to set, look out for, but they are on most drills now, is you've got a hammer drill setting, a drill setting, and obviously the screwdriver setting as well. Big thing for me when looking at a combi drill is the chuck. Plastic chuck, they're not going to last very well. If you're using it on heavy duty work or you're using it quite a lot, I'd try and move away from a plastic chuck. This is a metal chuck. It's, you can see it's been through the wars and it is absolutely fine. Most drills have lots of extra little bits which you probably can't see from here but I'll go through a clip to put on. If you wear a tool belt as a chippy for example, that's handy because you can just slot it on. Uh, most but not all, but if, if you want to keep an eye on your battery, you've got a battery indicator on this and a lot of the batteries have that. And then the other thing, to me, this is the most simple thing but I love it, this is metallic. So little drill bits, so I use a pilot bit for wood all the time, and then a little screwdriver bit, and all you do is just pop it in here. So if it's got those bits, it's really handy because then you don't have to keep shuffling around in your pockets. But I think the main thing for me is just see what other features it comes with. Have a good look round because all these little bits make the job a lot easier. Drill bits, you can get all the way through from half a mil, um, which is one of these for your pilot bits in your wood, all the way through up to your bigger bits. All your screwdriver bits, and then these are hole saws, which are for cutting holes in timber. This pack here isn't a lot of money, this is only about 20 quid, so you don't need to spend much money. And then also, you can use 
This is why it's so flexible. This is a whisk. Stick that in the end, you can mix up filler, plaster, even a bit of sand and cement. So really, there's a lot of accessories to buy um, when you've got this drilled, simply because it's the most flexible tool you've got. Any tool should be serviced and maintained. In reality, as a trade, I don't have time. So this is about 10 years old, give or take. It's never been serviced. However, I can start feeling the chucks a bit wobbly, the triggers starting to go a bit. It is important. However, if you haven't got time, just keep it clean. That's the main thing. Keep this clean. You can get a little air blower to get all the dust, the brick dust and sawdust out of here. Ideally service it, but that's not been touched in 10 years. It's still going fine. So there we are, a comprehensive guide to buying a combi drill. For more advice on tools, materials, techniques and products for building, visit homebuilding.co.uk.